Want to provide you all an update for this morning. Our uh, SWAT team have already made entry into the house and determined that the house is vacant. The suspect is, we believe, is now on foot uh, because his car is still at the house at the location where the incident occurred. So we believe he's probably in the area. We asked for our uh, citizens to be on the lookout. His name is uh, Brady Rose. He's a white male. He's about uh, 40 years old, 5'11", uh, medium build. Uh, gray shorts, black t-shirts, and uh, uh, that's all the descriptions I have. Uh, as far as our deputy at the hospital, he's out of surgery. He is in stable condition. We ask for the community to uh, say a prayer for him for wishing him a speedy recovery. When, at what point do you think that they believe that he may have escaped or gotten out of the house? Probably early during, early, probably early on, probably during the time when our uh, primary initial responding officers uh, or deputies uh, uh, was in the, uh, w upon engaging with the suspect and then uh, the, when the secondary deputy uh, saw the opportunity to rescue uh, his partner uh, uh, and pull him back uh, basically the second deputy put the uh, injured deputy into his patrol car and drove toward the hospital so there may be a short time lapse where where the uh, suspect was able to get away is there anything inside the house that indicates that he was shot the suspect was uh, for as, as far as that the case, the scene is still uh, active as, as far as processing uh, for evidence uh, I don't have the information I have not made it to the house so I don't know whether or not he was uh, there's indication whether or not he was injured do we know or think that he might be armed out in yes uh, we all uh, because uh, he uh, engaged with our uh, deputy uh, as soon as our deputies arrived and so we have every reason to believe that he's armed and dangerous absolutely yes ma'am Sounds like there's a photo of him as well. Is there any way that you could release a, a photo to the media? Yes, sir. Of course. Uh, as soon here within the next few minutes, as soon as we're uh, are done here, Deputy Gilham will uh, tweet out or send out a, uh, a photo. We believe it'd be the latest photo of him for everyone to, uh, to, to have a copy plan? of. Sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, what's the plan in terms of now that you guys have made entry into the home? Um, how are you going about looking for him? Where are you planning to? Yes, ma'am. We have a uh, robust team of uh, investigators from our Gulf Coast Violent, Invest uh, Violent Task Force, our Violent Crimes Unit within our Criminal Investigations Bureau. So we have a, a, a several teams of investigators going to be out uh, uh, looking for the sus suspect. But at the same time, we ask for the community's assistance in uh, helping us locating if they see someone, especially out here in the uh, Fry, uh, and I'm... West Little York area, you see a white male walk in, uh, please give us a call. How long do you expect the uh, subdivision to be closed to the residents who live out here? People are asking if they can get in or not. Yes, sir. We expect, uh, the, we're right now we're in the mode of processing mode for evidence, so we expect to be here for probably another hour and a half or so, uh, but probably no longer than two hours. And how long will you guys be searching this area? Until he is caught. Uh, not at this point, ma'am. I believe uh, uh, I, it's my understanding that he does not have a criminal history, but uh, again, his information is still fresh and coming, so uh, I cannot confirm that at this time. And, and I know you said earlier that his ex-wife is safe. She's, she wasn't in the house or anything, so she's doing all right, but um, have you been able to talk to her? Um, you know, what's she telling you? How, what's her demeanor like at this point? Uh, we have been, our investigators have been able to, to uh, talk to her. As a matter of fact, they're in, still in the, in the uh, process of interviewing her. Uh, obviously, she is shaken up, uh, but uh, she is safe and, 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 and uh, not injured. Are there children involved as well, or just the ex-wife? Just the ex-wife. No children involved. Yes, sir. Do we know why, what might have motivated him to try to break in in the first place? Or? No, no ma'am, because we have not had a chance to, to talk to him, so we don't know his motive. And at the time he was breaking in, it was just the ex-wife in the home? She was not inside the house at the time that, that he broke in. Right. So she came home to him inside of the house? Yes. Did you say his last name is Rose? R -O -S -S? Oh, Ray. The last name is Ray. R-A-Y. Let me verify that. It's R-A-Y. R-A-Y. Brady it's Ray. Brady Ray. The R-A-D-Y. R-A-Y. Correct. All right. I'll get all that to you in a little while. Thank okay. you. All right, thank Bye. you.